so that uh, i think we need to uh, refresh this one i mean I, i need to restart this it will take some time so i'm not going with that so like that that <coughs> back in backlog you will get that uh, bug here so that you can uh, track that one and add into sprint one and assign that particular uh, thing uh, particular uh, you know uh, bug you, where you need to assign is uh, under that particular column called as assignee you can assign that one now here uh, giving your mail id company will provides you your own mail id you know that mail id if you enter automatically it will take and uh, you know you need to go and work on it so that was a thing how the total jira tool ticketing tool will works so if you have any doubts please for sql developer this jira tool is used for you know if you want to work with anything whether it is a task or subtask anything you want to develop or uh, do some changes for the database you need to have uh, you need to uh, you know you need to get some task who is uh, you know how you will get task is someone need to assign work for you so that uh, per, the person who makes uh, or gives works to the developers we call them uh, we call them as a project manager <clears throat> or you can uh, call them as a scrum masters this is scrum masters will uh, check who is uh, say for every day there will be some meeting either at the morning or at the evening in most of the companies morning you know daily scrums will be there for few companies like capgemini the the meeting will be at the evening end of the day so in the meeting they will say so so and so work i did today and i am planning for some other thing for tomorrow if it is evening meeting if it is a morning meeting they will say i i worked yesterday on this thing and it was completed and i have bandwidth for today or i am i don't have anything in my dashboard so in dashboard there is no work means he is a free so scrum master or project management will note that one you are free for today and is there any backlog items which was pending here it will drag to that particular sprint and assign you work here so who is assigning work is the that particular you know scrum master is assigning work for you and for a developer Uh, how you, you you want to you, i mean where it is useful for you is jira you will get a mail to your uh, company provided mail in that mail uh, saying that so and so task is assigned for you or uh, assigned so when you click on that one jira dashboard will open uh, opens up like this jira interface will opens up like this and your uh, what you need to do it will be on the uh, exactly uh, for, for you if you say for companies they are taking it as a you know premium version so the task will appears exactly on the top of this one under this they might have given some you uh, know uh, like a description for that later to that one uh, there they, you have a chance of uh, doing this one so work is in to do i need to keep this one in in progress after getting that one when you keep that one in progress means that after changing the status the uh, for the reporter it will goes mail so so and so you uh, know nagarjuna has accepted the work which you sent to him so he is working on it so they will get confirmation there after doing certain as uh, you uh, after certain time uh, uh, working on that particular task so later when you enter into that you uh, know when you enter the time lock they will uh, get update so and so number of uh, 14 hours we assigned and he worked for 6 hours for today and the remaining will be for tomorrow and for tomorrow when you are saying in the meeting i you uh, know i worked yesterday on so and so thing and uh, i still have something to do with that they will uh, you know makes the match for this one uh, the yesterday he got a mail and noted that one nagarjuna worked for 6 hours and remaining 8 hours of work is there tomorrow when you are saying that today i worked for you uh, know yesterday i worked for 6 hours no they will check that one cross checking and making sure that everything was in line so their developer need what he need to do is so lo for logging purpose if you are a team member if you are a team member so for you it is a so work logging is one thing and getting tickets is another uh, usage if you are a team lead then you have a rights admin rights for you so there are uh, some rights so they might have provided so that admin rights what happens is under that one you can change assignee or you can assign the task that was the thing it is going to happen